just when political parties participating in the Kawata constituency parliamentary by-election thought all was set and hit the ground running with campaigns, sadly, they have to start afresh as the contender representing the United Progressive People, UPP, Francis Libenda, has given up the race before the 20th of January, 2022. During the nomination day, Mr. Libenda was full of confidence in scooping the seat which fell vacant following the death of seven member of parliament, Levi Mukandawire. In a resident uh, of uh, this area, uh, I was born, raised, and still living uh, in this place. So I know the inside out of all the problems of Kawata So I know by God's grace, we are winning. But Friday, 7th January 2022, Mr. Libenda announced that he could not proceed with the contest. Yes, I can uh, confirm that uh, I've withdrawn. I'm just from uh, dropping my resignation uh, letter to withdraw from uh, the race. Uh, is there any reason that you have cited? Uh, yes, I've cited a number of uh, reasons. Uh, there are many. Uh, I widely consulted with my family and uh, I decided that I, I withdraw. To understand the implications of his decision, we spoke to electoral expert McDonald Chipenzi, who said the move will compel the Electoral Commission of Zambia to call for fresh nominations and prescribe the new date for the election. Article 52 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia. This article requires that new nominations are supposed to be done and fresh date of the election is to be announced. This is the predicament now that the uh, candidates that filed in will have to face. Uh, it means that they have to pay new nomination fees they have to uh, to organize new uh, supporters uh, for them to be successful. Actually, it's a new a new nomination that has just uh, been triggered. Uh, I think it's very important for political parties and their candidates to be serious. Uh, it's not good to punish your fellow uh, participants just because you are not ready and you are just a joker. Let's move away from comedian uh, in the electoral process. It's an expensive process, the delicate process, and it should not be allowed people to just withdraw anyhow as they feel like. In this election, some political parties, such as the Patriots for Economic Progress, PEP, have been having challenges to mobilize resources to conduct campaigns and resorted to asking for contributions from members of the general public, and yet they will be compared to pay twice for nominations, one can only imagine the predicament. Certainly, this scenario was witnessed in the August 12 general election and calls for electoral reforms. Good morning, ladies and uh, gentlemen from the press. I would like to welcome you to the garden office uh, of the president of the Socialist Party. And this press briefing is going to be pretty short. It's about Kabwata and the happenings that are going on associated to the by-elections. We are 19 days in the campaign period. We have only got 12 days to go. And so far, information on the ground is that the Socialist Party candidate, Comrade Trevor, Ngandu is doing pretty well. And the comrade is seated next to me. Our campaign has been the best organized and the reception of the people of Kabwata to his candidates has been very positive. Some three days ago, we started receiving rumors that a candidate is going to withdraw. And that was worrisome. Yesterday, indeed, we saw a letter, and this is already in the public domain, that one of the candidates, Rivanda Francis, 
has withdrawn from this race. And the understanding of many people is also that these elections will be stopped or postponed because a candidate has withdrawn. In our opinion, this is a misuse of Clause 52, Section 6 of our Constitution. This clause was meant for calamities such as death of a candidate, just to give a fair chance to the political parties that are participating. This clause was not meant for people that will come into the race and then resign, expecting that new elections are going to be held. Our appeal is to the ECZ, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, that this issue should be treated differently. The campaign should go on. If these elections are postponed, it will set a terrible precedence for the democratic process in Zambia. Any candidate will wake up and say, I'm not standing anymore, I'm withdrawing, and that can go on and on. There will be no end to this. Kavuata should not set that precedence. The law should not be misused in any way. The Zambian electoral system deserves to have credibility. It has suffered for a long time. And let Kawata not be one of those that breaks it down. As I said again, this news we did receive some time back. And there are quite disturbing allegations involving the UPND in this whole process. And those allegations are that the UPND engineered this resignation. And this is serious. This story and these allegations would spell doom to Zambian democracy. That story states that this resignation is induced because the UPND is having serious problems selling its candidate and that they have lined up two candidates whose names we have been given to take over. So when it is postponed and it resumes, it won't be the same candidate that the people of Kawata have rejected. Again, at this point, would appeal to the investigative agencies, to the Anti-Corruption Commission, would like to appeal to the police to get on this matter as quickly as possible. If these allegations are true, this is a crime being committed. And we shouldn't allow it. We are going to engage the parties affected. We are going to engage the ECZ on this issue. Because this is an issue that touches all of us. The people of Kabwata have been orphaned by not having a legislator for months now. The egos, interests, the narrow interests of political parties should not deny that constituents legal or political representation. This is greediness at its worst. And as a socialist party, we are touched, we are moved by this situation, by this development. You may be asking, why didn't we go straight to those institutions? Why are we bringing this open? This is not an institutional issue, an organizational issue alone. This is a matter in public interest. There is no way we are going to appeal only to these institutions quietly. We are beginning the process informing you, ladies and gentlemen from the press, but also the people of Kawata 
that this is what is happening. There's a possibility of your elections being postponed, your constitutional right to have representation is going to be postponed, and for what? For the narrow political interests of those in power. That's why we are bringing it out. We are going to follow it immediately, engage the different parties as alluded to. Our people on the ground are also following up as much as they can, get as much evidence as possible. The idea is to bring this to an end. With your help, your involvement, we should be able to create a better Zambia, better democratic processes for this country. The crime-like behavior that these allegations entail should be stopped. And that should be done immediately. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.